Hi friends. So for my March mini kit Monday kit reveal, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Some of the mini kit Monday friends of mine have been doing some page kits and it really inspired me to do the same. And I've also been doing a lot of kit building, like mini page kit building kind of things on my channel. So I thought I would bring that all in together and we'll see what we have. Um, I guess I'll just talk the way through it a little bit. Now, this is the inspiration for this month. And pretty much we have $25 to spend on our scrappy pot of gold. So here's a nice price list going down the way. And anything in the gold uh, region and anyway is free. So you don't have to count that. So I ended up spending... I spent $22 and then realized I needed chipboard, which is not on the list. So I decided to blow my last three on that and I decided I'm the boss of me, so it's okay. So let me show you my first kit and I'm gonna go kit by kit, like page kit, and I will show you what I have. Now, I ended up picking out pattern papers, puffy stickers, cardstock stickers, die cuts, alphas slash thickers, flat alphas, wood veneer, Enamel dots, which are enamel dot sequins nouveau, that's all in one category, and flare. And then chipboard was not on my list, but I figured three bucks for chipboard would work. So three, these three papers here are part of the page or paper pad page kit series that I put together. And I just had to grab two sets of those page kits for this for the March uh, Mini Kit Monday. So I have this one, really nice wood grain with wood grain arrows. You can have them go whichever way works for you. I've got, oh, this is from Dear Lizzie, and so is this, uh, a rose gold, which is gorgeous. I have rose gold, and it's a bit of an animal print for coral, and then these really gorgeous large flowers. I mean, holy moly, are they pretty. Oh, and let me show you kind of what my plan has been. I'm trying to decrease some stash. So every time I just find one or two little tiny bits of who knows what, I've been putting them in this little iris container insert by color. So this is where I went first putting the embellishments in my kit. And then let me show you the next little thing I pulled bits and pieces of used things that I want to concentrate on using up. So I have two bins just like this of all kinds of little just things. So I went into these next and so things aren't necessarily from like one manufacturer or whatever. So you will see when I go in here what I mean by that. All right, so let me get back to describing what's going on. I liked this nice pale peach that is in the goldenrod collection and these are chipboard like titles but gold is also free in our kit so i have that then next i found these paper house life organize puffy stickers there's several different kinds of little pieces that would work and i don't know what i'm scrapbooking with this kit so in this little iris container from the uh little sections over there i have a few gray hearts I've got some little tiny words and then just bits and pieces. Look, I had two little puffy stickers. I've got some hearts here from Pink Fresh, a, just a leftover cutout word, a die cut that somebody gave me, one little chipboard piece that is left from a Maggie Holmes collection or crepe paper, one little puffy Pink Fresh star, a die cut piece, a little label, a number one, hmm, don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I've got some little hearts here, another little single piece of chipboard. So you see here, I have literally a collection of little bits and pieces and I don't know what I'm gonna scrapbook with it. Now these are puffy feathers and for this particular kit, I liked these four, so I figured I might be able to get some use. I went on a scrapbooking retreat last year and somebody gave me this beautiful uh, viney looking piece here and I thought that matched nicely. So 
I have all kinds of just mismatched little bits and I thought I could run with it. I had like a tomato soup red word that says hello, which matches that. So we will see how this all comes together. Little navy butterfly, cause I had a little navy in there, a blue brad. So this is my first kit. And I'm hoping that this method will get me a little traction and kind of be a way to use up some of those little bits and pieces we get. All right, so let me show you my next kit. Now this is way too big in the embellishments, but you know, I know I won't use them all. Let me show you what I have here. This is another set of papers I pulled for a page kit. My youngest daughter will be going on a cruise shortly, and she's also going to Miami for two days ahead of time before that. So that looked Miami enough to me. So from those goodies that I'm trying to use up, I pulled this Dear Lizzie sticker sheet. So, I mean, just kind of fun. There's an anchor on there, which is gold. Gold is a freebie. This fabulous flamingo in orange. Like, when would I ever use that? So that is perfect. So a lot of really She Just Shines would be fab for my daughter down there. I have one little piece from these layered stickers left. So this and this could go on the same layout. I have some Evalicious uh, puffy stickers that I've had forever. Would love to get those out of my stash. Just a couple pieces left from Oasis. Gold freebie. Oops. I have Pink Fresh Let Your Heart Decide collection. I like that it had this orange in there. Don't know if they'll get used. Some puffy stickers in hearts. Just a couple of pieces left from Pink Fresh here. A little bit more of the Pink Fresh with some puffy pieces. So you see, I mean, I am down to the bottom on some of these. I view in me not easy, but worth it. Some really great leatherette stickers there. Now this, oops, look at this. Oh gosh, I have a sticker writing shotgun. Uh, this piece right here, I was really looking at it for some of the uh, gold touches because gold's a freebie, so I'm going to bring it in. I thought I could come up with my title from these gold thickers. That would be awesome. More gold right here, and if something needs to be used in another kit of mine, they get to go back and forth, just so you know. The papers are my main part of the page kit. And then to go with the green, I saw some of these pink fresh wood veneer. I thought that might work. And then once again, like from that clear iris container, I found all kinds of little bits and pieces that don't necessarily go together, but they may end up on a layout. So how fun is that? These just random little bits. So hopefully, see look, I have like one sequin and one little enamel dot. Oh. And then I saw this, I think this is from a hand-me-down, but they're these little cut apart. So who knows, maybe something will be able to be used to layer up a little bit. I have no idea. So that's included as well. So that is my second page kit. All right, let me put this behind me. And next. So I do know that I have at least one Valentine layout to scrapbook. So I have a little Valentine kit here. Let me show you my papers. And this was from a page kit. No, 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 no. These are not from a page kit that I pulled out. These were just on my loose papers. So the first paper I found was this Felicity Jane. It's just a great aqua wood grain. And the back, they're kind of like black rainbows. Hold up for this, but who knows how that'll go. I saw this rather quickly. It's from Fashionista. I thought black and pink would work. Not using it for this side this time because I'm not feeling the brown for this layout. And then I have this pink fresh 2018 paper from Joyful Day for another hit of aqua. And then I thought if I really needed to, I can cut out different uh, little frame bits. So then I just threw in all the rest of my Valentine goodies that I have. Now I do not buy much for Valentine's anymore because I've had these things forever and I'm just not going through them. I've got some of the La La Love collection here. 
These are from the oldest hip kit club kit ever. So if something says Valentine's on it, I'm gonna really try to use it. Valentine's uh, chipboard, Valentine's puffy hearts. I've got this Valentine's collection by Pebbles that is gold and red and pink with all kinds of little Valentine sentiments. And then let's see, main squeeze here, all kinds of Valentine hearts. And I might take this out, put it with my Valentine stuff and put this with my stickers so I get some more use out of it. Now this is from Fancy Pants, it's from 2013. So not a bad idea to include it. It says Cupid's arrow, my Valentine, that kind of stuff. And then I have this Simple Stories Romance um, little sticker collection. So that is my Valentine's Day kit. And then I have one last one and then I will show you a couple other things. So this one is because I already have photos printed of my daughter, my youngest daughter having her wisdom teeth out. Now both my daughters had their wisdom teeth out a day apart. So let me show you these papers. I'm going to be using a case of the blahs because that totally makes sense to me for wisdom teeth. Applause for the flaws. Then I have this really great pale slate blue. So that can be used for anything. And I had a scrap, so that's with it. We've got some flat alphas, all kinds of great chipboard stickers and that I have a lot of that product. Here's another set of it. Some puffy stickers that will work. Here's another set of those puffies. I've got die cuts here. Now there's a lot in here. And after this, if there's any that are just plain, like, like this arrow, for example, or whatever, I might put those into my color drawers. We're gonna see. Now here is those chipboard pieces that I said I ended up buying for three bucks. And you'll see this later on when I scrapbook it, but this is my daughter after getting her wisdom teeth out. She was not a happy girl. So that will be coming. So that's my fourth layout. There's five Mondays, by the way, uh, in March. So I went ahead and bought flare. So I have all these little flare pieces. I have spring fling in there. Some beach ones, it says noted, summer adventure, which isn't gonna work because I don't have any summer layouts to do. Beach fun I can do, my favorite season's flip-flops I can do, and lazy days and sunshine, sunshine rays I could do. I grabbed a little bin of wood veneer to use on any layout. And then I grabbed, since washi is one of our choices, I went ahead and grabbed from my multicolor washi bin, just a handful, didn't even look at them, grabbed a handful of the ones on top to try to get some usage. Hopefully I can use at least a couple pieces and if I can, that will be a win for me. So that is my mini kit Monday March kit. If you have any questions in any way whatsoever, leave them down below. I'll leave links for the rest of the ladies that are in mini kit Monday and I will also, um, wait, maybe I should use rub-ons instead of chipboard. I'm going to get rid of chipboard, not use this at all. Just occurred to me, that's gone, because I need to use rub-ons like crazy this month. And rub-ons are on the list for three bucks. So there we go. I'm back to keeping to my rules I came up with myself. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them below. Links to the other Mini Kit Monday ladies will be there as well as to our Facebook page. So I hope you like the goodies I get to play with and I will see you guys ever so soon. Bye friends.